hi everyone welcome to weblogic server classes so this is our first lecture in which we will talk about topology configuration and administration of weblogic server we will also see the the basic terms which are being used in weblogic so that uh, we are familiar with the, all the terms which uh, we will encounter in our coming classes and let me tell you this classes uh, it is not like it will only we will only go through ppts and we will do the real time scenarios as well we will install web logic we will create servers we will create clusters we will do we will create database connections and we will do gms connection we will create users so everything which is there in syllabus will be covered in practicals as well and so first what we will do first we will go through the ppts cover our theory part once our theory is done then we will move on and we will do our practicals so in this way our classes will go and if you have any problem anywhere while configuring in your system you can come back on the forum and you can post your queries and your queries will be answered so let me first introduce to you what is web logic server so what is this word server means see, server is something where you host your application see whenever you build an application you do a java based you build a java based application now that application is will be an standalone application only on your system someone will be using that application now you want that application to be accessed by everyone so you have to do some configuration you have to make it available publicly and your desktop cannot handle all those requests so we need a server for that so there are basically two types of servers one server is known as web server so what is a web server a web server is a utility which takes http and https request from browser so whenever we hit any url like when we hit http colon double slash google.com so this request first goes to web server and web server and because it is an http server http request it will go to web server web server will says will fetch this request and then it will responds back with the page google page and so in a web server we just deploy html and simple jsp pages so and so some of the example of web servers are apache web server which is a freeware it's used in almost uh, 80% is being used in uh, industry i planet from i planet and iis web servers as well which is a microsoft product so the second type of server is application server so an application server is a software or utility used to deploy complex business logic because our web server cannot deploy we cannot deploy the complex business logic on web server it cannot handle so many things so we need something like application server we can deploy our complex business logic so it <coughs> it provide us us with many facilities like transaction management security management and it gives us a lot of options and it's much more secure so we use application server for deploying our complex business logic so uh, most important use of application server is to deploy ejb enterprise java beans which is used to create distributed enterprise applications and java has specified some specification as j2we specification and allow all the application container has to follow this specification to become a j2we compatible application server so there are some specification which have been de developed by the governing bodies so you have to follow them and then you have to do and develop your application and deploy your application on web logic server so some of the web application servers are one is a, a one which we are going to study is oracle web logic server second is ibm web sphere third is jboss and the fourth is glassfish so 
what is this? so let me now introduce you weblogic weblogic is an application server from oracle so let me first take you to the history of uh, weblogic the development of weblogic uh, began in around 1991 when a company named t3 servers started its development and the weblogic was earlier known as 3t servers then a company named weblogic acquired t3 servers and renamed it as weblogic then from there onwards bea acquired weblogic and it renamed it as bea weblogic and in and oracle acquired bea and then from then it is now known as oracle weblogic server so let me tell you some of the benefits of using weblogic server it is very easy to use you get a graphical user interface where you can con do all the configuration you don't have to worry you don't have to write codes you don't have to write scripts they have provided you this uh, scripting tools as well so it's up to your wish if you want to use scripting tools you can go for that but if you want to configure all those things from graphical interface there you have got an option and it is very easy and it is very secure and robust it's the weblogic server has is very secure and robust application server it is very cost effective as well when you buy the license of weblogic server it is very cost effective and it is uh, leaders in distributed computing systems